Hello everyone, and uh, before I start this video about how hard it is to go to the moon, uh, I'd like to say that I'm not a professional, I'm not a student, uh, I don't take any astronomy or space navigation courses, if I can call it so, I only play uh, Sephard Rockets 2, which is kind of like uh, a Kerbin space program, if you know it. So, I'm not going to educate you about how to travel to the moon, but I'm going to demonstrate the difficulties and the things that, that you have to take in account. Um, so first thing, as you see, we just uh, launch to orbit around the Earth, and then at a certain point from that orbit, we go to the moon. And there's always that uh, symbol diagram that is being shown to us uh, it's kind of like figure of eight going uh, around the earth and then going around the moon and then getting back but it's not it's not that easy because e actually you don't launch toward the moon or when you're in earth orbit you don't go towards the moon here it is here's how to go to the moon uh, the, the only thing you can do is to extend the apogee, or that's the highest point of your orbit, until it intercepts the moon's orbit. And we wait for the moon to come to us, but it's not exactly to wait for the moon. We'll syn synchronize that, uh, that process of uh, extending our uh, apogee, which is called uh, lunar is insertion burn. We start extending it at a certain time before the moon is at that point. And of course, we we need to calculate the the major axis of that orbit. By calculating the major axis, uh, we know how long will it take us to reach to that apogee or to the highest point. So if it's like three days. To reach that point then we should start our launch when the moon is three days uh, before that point as you as you're seeing right now and that green uh, spacecraft and that green moon is just the position that's going to be uh, at the time they meet or the craft enters the gravity of the moon but this is just something for the game to make it simple and after that, as you see now, the perigee or the lowest point, uh, this is just my own technique for the game. I don't know if that's true or not. I try to make it as low as possible, make it closer to the moon. And in this case, it's like 25 kilometers. And then uh, after that, uh, we start the circularization, or circularization bird. So once I reach the perigee or the lowest point, I start the opposite or retrograde burn, reducing my apogee until they're, they're almost the same. As you see now, yeah, they're almost the same. And then uh, at my leisure, I start to, you know, deorbit like this you're seeing now, and then uh, descend. And then finally, the the landing bird. So this all seems so easy, and I'd like to say something. I I didn't pick this landing point. So let's see how many difficulties have I uh, bypassed uh, until landing on the moon. Uh, first thing is when to do my insertion bird. Well, I I only did it once by calculating the the period. Or half the period for the orbit, and then I know how how many degrees the, the the moon covers every day or every hour. So that's how I did it, and it turns out that uh, when when the moon is 30 degrees below uh, the horizon in this game, I'm not talking about reality. 30 degrees below the horizon. That's when I when I start my insertion burn. I did it only once, but ever since. How do I how do I do it? 
I just wait until I see this green thing, this green thing, green, yeah, I'm good, I'm going to the moon. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing that I landed on the equator of the moon in a random point, and I did not choose that point. Now, if, if you want to choose the point on the equator in, in this game, it, it's, not, it's not difficult, it's possible. As long as your orbit is around the equator. Now look at this. Uh, in this image, you see this is the orbit of the craft, and this orbit is this is above the equator of the of this planet, which is not the case in the real world. And so we have the equator of the planet, the orbit, and then the orbit of the moon. They are exactly the same there's zero inclination in this uh, world now let's look at this uh, this is similar to the first one but this is only from top view we've never discussed the side view which is like this now you can see here I, I launched it with a little bit of uh, inclination and so it's higher than the moon and when it's higher than the moon we still can land on the moon we, we can still reach the moon but where god knows because th with this inclination this is not the equator so what do we do if we want to land on the moon and hey hold on let me show you how the real thing looks like so in order to go to the moon with a little bit realistic way i cannot do it manually it would be a little bit hard for me so I made this program. The most important thing here that I put the inclination of the moon for, for this system, 5.5 degrees, and the tilt of the Earth, 23.44, and the lunar ascending node, or the moon ascending node. Uh, right, ascension of the ascending node. And I'll explain what is this uh, in a minute. I'll just show you the system first and, and how it looks like to, to, you know, to admire the complicity, uh, complexity uh, of it comparing to the previous and simple system. So the first thing you start to notice now is the shadow is not uh, east-west because now there's inclination. This is not the equinox anymore like the other system that the sun is uh, right there. But what I want to show is the uh, the space, the map. So here is the Earth, and uh, now you see the shadow. Sorry, the shadow of or, or the terminator line is angled because the sun is high up there. You see it? There's the sun here. So. Uh, I kind of put the sun up or give inclination to the Earth's orbit this way. This is the Earth orbit here. Now let me select the sun just to show you. Okay. So there it is. By giving the orbit uh, of this planet. Uh, inclination of 23.44 degrees that becomes the orbit so in a, in a way this is to simulate the tilt of the earth axis because the axis is still vertical but the orbit itself is tilted and that's the same case it, uh, you cannot tell which is which because you know space everything is relative so now that we have our earth orbit this way um when we go to the to this earth oh sorry this one this one and it's called drew by the way not earth i just keep calling it earth so um i'll be that's the direction of east all right i just want to make this clear now let's look at the moon we look to the moon orbit. This is the moon orbit in relation to the Earth. So it's actually it's a mess of angles. 
you know so how are we going to do to deal with this well let's start <coughs> launch and see what's going on what's happening now is this is uh, like time lapse or time wrap uh, because in the program I'm waiting for a certain points when I'm at the same point as the moon or the same right ascension uh, of the ascending node and I think I have to stop here and explain what's the ascending node so as you see here this is the ascending node and this is the descending node the opposite side to it and I think it's obvious that if if this is the center of this planet then whatever part of orbit is above it in the direction of the moon orbit it's called of start from here this is the ascending node once you start to be north of of the planet then you are ascending and then you're still up you're still up and then at a certain point you are at the southern side of the planet so this is the descending node and uh there there is this this is here is the inclination angle so what i need to do i i want my orbit to be identical in in orientation to this the moon orbit the orbit of my craft around the earth before i start my insertion point ever so uh, i'll need to have the same inclination and i should start my burn here this is one of the ways there's there's some other ways you can launch uh just heading east but from a, a higher latitude but okay just let's keep focus on this so let me show the next uh, drawing yeah so uh, this is the desired uh, inclination or direction uh, but but we have a little bit of problems here that we have the the earth surface speed so if i if i choose this angle after launch uh this will be the component of uh the rocket movement and the earth movement so i need to pre calibrate the errors that I'm going to have and this is also I, I do count in, in my programming that I, that I showed because it makes a difference about 1 or 1.2 degrees if I didn't uh, take the, the this motion in count uh, so now the this is about to start the launch and as you see here uh, there's already a bit of an angle here this is this direction is the uh, the east and now it's, it's above east it's like 80 80 degrees or 80 something or sorry 70 something so we will we'll continue just a reminder here that launch point is when the line from the center of the planet to the craft is uh, pointing or reaches the ascending point of uh, the moon and as you see here at the, the angle is uh, around 18 degrees to the north of east uh, you see here this is the inclination on the top is 2.7 2.3 degrees although it should be around uh, 72 but because I have a horizontal component because of the planet rotation around 160 uh, 160 meters per second so when I start to gain more lateral or latitudinal latitudinal speed, um, my inclination start to approach the 18 degrees. So in another word, if this planet was not rotating, I would put 18 degrees of launch north to the east. But because it's rotating and I'm gaining an extra uh, speed on the longitude axis, so I give it more. Uh, one degree or 1.2 degrees to the north that's 90 and 19 degrees point something and as as my speed increases I get to the desired um, inclination 
So as you see now, the orbit is almost complete and the inclination angle up there is increasing from 17. It should be 17.9, but we'll see where, where it's going to be at 17.8. 17 so I'm off by around 0.1 degrees. So will that put me on the equator of the moon? The relative equator? Uh, we're going to see now. So as you see, the number up there says that my inclination is 50 degrees, which is way off than the 18 degrees that I should have got. So uh, yeah, 0.1 degree can 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 do a lot of of error, and uh, I'm nowhere near where where I was planning to go. And when I say planning to go, I'm just talking about the inclination of the orbit, not not the specific point of landing on the moon. So I, I, I'll end this video by just uh, saying what, what are the things that uh, we should do into or to go to the moon. So going to the moon, the easiest way. First thing, find the ascending or descending node of the moon. So if the ascending node is here and the descending node is here, then you either start your launch when your craft is in this direction or in this direction in the planet and of course you can see that this is uh, around 12 hours interval window so if you don't do it now you can wait 12 hours or 24 hours or you know etc etc uh, second thing set launch time at the same ascending uh, descending node we find it now we have to launch at either that point or the other. Uh, number three, calculate the moon distance on the desired uh, meeting point. So the meeting point uh, could be here, could be here, and uh, I think it could be like every two hours we we have a window for that once we are in orbit. <clears throat> uh, calculate how long will it takes uh, the moon to reach that point. So I want to meet the moon when it's here or around this area. So uh, the distance will be 380 kilometers, uh, 380,000 kilometers maybe. Now I know the, uh, the period of this orbit. And so that period, if it's two days, then I subtract the position of the moon from here and I get back in time like uh, two days. So that would be when I launch uh, or start my insertion bur burn. Uh, this is point number five. Set the insertion burn based on the previous point. So when the moon is in this position in the sky, yes, this is when I do the insertion burn uh, based on the meeting point that I planned. And finally, number six. Upon reaching moon's gravity, circularize the orbit, deorbit, and land somewhere. Uh, this is the best I can say. I have no clue how would they land on a specific longitude latitude uh, on the moon. To me, it, it sounds like magic. And I, if I was a conspiracy theorist, I would say that's why the moon landing is hoax, because it's, it's almost impossible to, to define a point and land on it. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it, it's impossible to me within my knowledge and and yeah, my knowledge and what I know about math. So that's all what I wanted to say about going to the moon. It's very difficult. It's not just about making a rocket. There's a lot of other things that have to be taken count. I'm sorry, they are supposed to be seven points because I forgot to mention that point about the inclination and the product of the Earth surface speed and the the, uh, the inclination the planned inclination uh, and speed for the launch. So that's all what I want to say and uh, thank you all for watching. If you watched it that far, bye bye.